Hey guys, real quick before we get started, we want to let you know that Eric and I are going to be streaming on Wave Squadron Jedi Fallen Order tonight, 6 p.m. until probably about 9 p.m. Join us as we play through that, discuss things, and have a good time live tonight. Hey guys, Wave Squadron reporting in. I'm Eric. I'm Joe. Aaron. And we're here with The Mandalorian. Intermixing with some of the uh, uh, Children of the Watch. Yeah, in the COVID. That was kind of the right? bookend, but the big mm-hmm. part of the episode was on Coruscant with Dr. Pershing, Pershing in the Amnesty program and him legitimately trying to do good. and For the good of the, yeah. the New Republic. And then we had uh, Kane come in and mm-hmm. seemingly wipe his mind. <laughs> yes. Like Kane. Yep. yep. Uh, but we had a poll last time. Why did Kane wipe Pershing's Why? memory? Why? Five percent says she did it for herself, acting alone. Nine percent says she did it for the Emperor. Eleven uh, percent something else, and seventy-three percent she did it for Moff Gideon. Mm-hmm. We briefly mentioned Moff Gideon he's dead. last time. Well, he's not dead, dead. <laughs> or he's, he's been mind flared, or he escaped. We don't. We're not really sure. <laughs> Uh, Matthew Cronin says she's making enough. sure he can't use any of his research to aid the New Republic, so they never find out about Pal- Palpatine's clones. Just getting rid of the information because they didn't it seem super crazy. interested anyway. Not really, no. But I guess it seems like still they would have just ignored yeah. him if he had told them. They're already wiping all the Imperial information anyway. Yeah, mm-hmm. why this guy? If if that was the goal, then. Isla Kane should have just told them that he had Imperial information and they would have wiped it for her. Just think, like, if they didn't wipe his mind, Poe Dameron in episode 9 would have been, actually, we know how Palpatine came back. We got this Pershing report. (laughs) The Pershing report. Yeah. Uh, Darth Piet says, this is a new take on 51st Dates. Oh, is that what we're doing? Yeah, wipe his memory and then make him fall in love again. In this episode, we do the whole thing. We need a lab again. (laughs) That's what I said Foolishly last time. That's a fun idea. I like that. Twisted Magoo <laughs> says, I would prefer to believe the Mandalorian will ignore the sequel films, which will rule out the Emperor. Gideon is possible, I suppose, but more likely I think it's Wait. Thrawn starting to emerge from the shadows. Wait, they think that Mandalorian is going to ignore the sequel films? There's a certain group of people that, I mean, they can, I don't, it's not going to happen, I'm sorry. They it's can just, imagine <laughs> that. You can imagine that. You can believe what you want. You, you're your own fan, you know? Last episode, we almost ignored the Mandalorian during the episode. <laughs> Where? It's like that one episode of Boba Fett. Yeah. We Boba just Fett. Watch the Mandalorian. <laughs> Which is great. I'm going to be angry about is it. Is Pershing going to get his spinoff? They're all good. Cal says, I think the title is supposed to work on both stories. She wipes his mind and converts him to work for Gideon. So, like, wipe his mind for safety, but also he's a genius, so maybe we can and use And then he him. wakes up like, where am I? He's like, you're with the Empire. <laughs> that sounds like a great scene for Rick Spinoff. It does. And that, he's just, yeah, he's just confused. <laughs> it, what if they put him in, like, that Jim Carrey movie, right? What was it called? Good day, good morning, good night. Or oh, good morning. Truman Show. Yeah. yeah. What if they put him, like, in the Truman Show, but he thinks, like, all the Empire is yeah. still thriving, but really he's just stuck in this little, like, area. <laughs> You know? Yeah. That could be cool. Uh, win with Letitia Hallmark, who just says, she's definitely doing it for whoever is really calling the shots for these former Empire people. So whoever's in charge of the uh, that remnant right now. Is it Gideon? <clears throat> could it be Thrawn? Could He's it be somebody else? Moff Gideon, right? Yes. <laughs> so he would outrank Thrawn. Technically, yes. I mean, Thrawn could have been promoted. By who? At some point. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I mean, there's, there's a span of time been... between Rebels sure. and between yeah. Yeah. Okay. the sure. other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, nine years or so. I he promoted say. himself. Maybe he did. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the. I mean, Virgil promoted him. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we don't know anything about what's happening, what's happened with them in this time period, but I'm sure we're going to find out, if not here, then in some of the oh, other series. And another show would be great. Let's start this one. Super show. Super show. <laughs> <laughs> You're still trying to kill this turtle? I know they're, 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 they're training. <laughs> they killed the turtle more than they shot. Yeah, he shot the no, shit out of it. Having him. a big turtle around for XP is probably good. Yeah, its mom comes around. It just respawns every morning. You shoot the water. It's like a villain shooting the Mayas. 
The rain is not clear. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in West Virginia somewhere. <laughs> is he doing stacking rocks? He put all his rocks on the side. Then yeah. Out of train. <gasps> the sailing rocks. Or the sailing stones. In the wait. The worst scenario is that he's flat. not doing this. Oh. Right. It's like he's looking at this rock, but this rock is moving. Yeah, I don't think he's oh. doing it. Oh, there's it's just crabs? There's you think else. they're little crab thingies? Yeah, I think something else is Yeah. Doing. That could be the worst situation. Yeah, look! He's gonna eat it. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, the new one. Next challenger. New challenger. Oh, I can't wait. Dude, what if, he, what if that kid just kicks him? One does not speak unless one knows. Is that not the creed? Well, I know. Perhaps this lesson is for you then. <laughs> the training darts. What is a training dart? Fighters, arm yourselves. Is it little? Like little oh, gauntlet. just wrist yeah. things. Okay. Do they have one for him? <laughs> you don't think it goes over his sleeve? Of course, they have a baby-sized dart. He doesn't know how to fire darts. He's got this. Trust me. Ready. He stops all the darts, or he dies immediately. Begin. <laughs> Point. <laughs> that judge is great. I love that, it. What do I do? Ready. Begin. <laughs> <laughs> he can. Three points. Winner. <laughs> great job, kid. Is a problem. No, it's a safe place to be. No one would actually come here. They took him. They took the kid. No blasters. It'll kill the child. Follow it to its lair. Nope, he doesn't bite his head off before you get there. There's a dragon. Last time he was near the water, he he summoned a giant turtle. This time, it's a dragon. Wait, why is it the kid's fault? So far, yeah. yeah. Uh oh, pass out. How did they get back? Or does it recharge over time? It always gets away. Whoa, there you go. go. Bo. Go Bo. She had the right idea. Fuck Whoa, yeah! Look at that. Look at that shot, Eric. That, so that shot before that shot was shitty in comparison. It's apocalypse now. It's great. <laughs> Eric, look at that. That one's better. <laughs> it's better than the shot that you liked. <laughs> you are too young to join them. All in good time. Come, Grogu. If you wish to become a Mandalorian, there is much work to attend to. Gotta get you fitted. Yeah. yeah. Come, baby. I think I'm making my helmet. Look at him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love watching him run. He's pan. <laughs> cool. The forge can reveal weaknesses. Uh, is she making him something or just something random? Oh yeah, Carl Weathers directed this episode. Yeah? Yeah, I heard that. This is different than Jedi training. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh crap! Trial University. The elevator! Get the young lady to Kelleran! Go! Kelleran? Kelleran like Kelleran Beck? <laughs> Maybe. No way. Kelleran. Is Kelleran gonna be how Grogu gets out? If it is, oh my gonna be God! All right, kid. Hey, it's a med vest. Sidecar speeders. Dude, this is oh my God! <laughs> oh, Jar Jar! <laughs> oh my God! And he was the Jedi. This is the Jedi from the Temple Run game show they had. This is super cool. Short. Yeah, they're shorter Shinto. for for. Uh, 
dual wielding. I think how Ahsoka has one short. This is cool. Dude, that's Tim Morrison, too. Oh my gosh. Just to escape. With Grogu? Dude, he, he, he's the guider of children for the Jedi. <laughs> oh! Lad. We're getting so much chorus on. Yeah, like, oh, I remember Hit the red button. It is. Hit the red button. Right here. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, the rock. Monument Plaza, yeah. Oh. Alright, I'm going to this. That's a new cruiser. That's a new cruiser. Ugh. Live action clones look so good. Yeah, they do. These guys are heroes. Wow, no! Stay, don't! Wake them up! The Warforge is a flashback machine. <laughs> they did that before. It's like Dude, back great. to tank. <laughs> I love that. That was so cool. I'm so happy. Fuck yeah, my best. Right? You mean, <coughs> sign and just charge our merch anymore. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a celebration sign on this shit. <laughs> Mandalorian steel shall keep you safe. He just c covers his front? Yeah. He has the same crest as... You will grow into this rondel as you grow into your station. Foundling yeah. Grogu. Cool. It's, it looks so big. It is. <laughs> it's a trash can lid. Protects most of his vital organs. <laughs> See, it's not that high. In full armor. Yeah. We will make camp. I don't know if he's gonna be able to climb with all that shit. Speaking of berserk, <laughs> you know. That you wanted to not see you. They're an outcrop. Put it out, you fools. Put it smell out. the smoke. He's a dragon. He always smells smoke. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat together. <laughs> That's so awkward. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Enjoy your food. Basically, when you give someone a meal, you tell them to go away. <laughs> Story, but this is good. Oh, but they can't retract it like Batman does. Someone can fall. Oh, yeah. The problem is, if you fall, you can't use your jetpack. Yeah, I guess. Or if you kill the kid, you can yeah. use a grapple hook, though. Is that a nest? Yeah. That's great. <clears throat> well, you gotta just free climb from here? That's so exhausting. This is a giant fucking nest. It is. Oh no. Want that scene from Almost Heroes? Chris Farley. <laughs> Where is it? Wait until we clear the area. Babies. He's my son. Yeah, okay. Oh, he is. That's why the colors that are That explains it, yeah. yeah. Ragnar! 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 There's gonna be babies in here. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a stealth now. What? He's in a net or he uh, No, that was a branch that yeah, he got, so. <laughs> Is he spinning up the kid? Oh my gosh. He's alive! Oh, he went oh, in! Fuck! Oh, this town. No! This is the worst situation. Well, now what? I guess, okay. Chase him. No more stealth. <coughs> Kill his kids. You gotta do it before you no. run out of fuel, too. Take my hand! Ugh. Oh! oh God. Fuck. No! I wonder if 
sure she'll get a new one made with the Sigmund. The Mythosaur? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, oh, oh it was Paz. Hope your jetpack works. He's used the least fuel. Yeah, but he's also it's been being chewed, chewed on. on. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Don't fall off a cliff. So dire. Yeah. yeah. Or like the bolo things that it's, like. Yeah. It's so big. Oh. Caught some of his wings. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Flip. Oh! Oh, my oh God, no! Ragnar! Oh. Eat that turtle! Oh my God! Yeah! Oh my God! <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> Eat it, turtle! <laughs> Are you okay? He's gonna starve. <clears throat> I'm okay, Dad. Oh, thank you. This is the way. This is the way. Man. Bo and Din are gonna have respect of him, I think. You know? Saving his kid and hunting down the dragon. Hopefully they went back to the nest and recovered that other helmet. However many there were. Or got the babies to eat. You have done the highest honor of the creed. Saving a foundling. This is the way. Oh, wow. Bo said this is the way. There are more foundlings in need of care and training. Is that so? They did bring him. <laughs> They're gonna ride him. Yep. They're war beasts now. Man, okay, that's a better idea than holy eating, crap. I guess. Yes. I can replace what's missing, but not with its modern refinements. <laughs> Shall I inlay the signet of the night owl? Uh, no. Yeah. Who wants that one? Would it be acceptable to wear one pauldron of the night owl and another with the mythosaur? The mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. It is always acceptable to wear. I would like that. <laughs> All right. She's going to lose the other one later on. <laughs> That's great. What would you say if I told you I saw one? Oh, man. She didn't you saw what? A mythosaur. I would say you are very lucky. It is a noble vision. Mm -hmm. Vision. I mean a real one. Beneath the living waters on Mandalore. When you choose to walk the way of the Mandalore, you will see many things. But it was real. This is the way. It's over. Cool. Ah, good job, Carl. This was great. This episode, folks, though, short. It did. I quite loved it. How it, short it was? It was less than 30 minutes. I don't know. I, I felt like it was a good, solid, it like, was, an episode. It was a good episode. Yeah, I, I, I just I wanted, really more wanted more of it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, like, to see where, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I want to get more of the Grogu information, you know? Seeing, like, His where escape, he went. Where he lived. Like, yeah, what happened to him. Mm -hmm. um, In the care of did, Kelleran Beck. Did, did, Kel did Kelleran die or lose him know. was he stolen you know like that's it like if he escaped here yeah is he still out there somewhere or did he die yeah, and that's yeah. why Grogu right. got taken yeah. away he know? became sure. a Sith so no. that the Jar Jar Sith thing no, all comes no. around what they need to do is they need to make Jar Jar a Sith <laughs> and he hunts down Calrin <laughs> it's just it's crazy for those that don't know people Dis Jar -Jar Disney made this more. kids game show that was like a Jedi Temple run game show it was Legend of the Hidden Temple Pretty much, but for Star, yeah, Star Wars. Wars spin on it, and they had Ahmed Best play Kaloran Beck, who's like, you know, in the prequel era, like Jedi younglings could come and compete in this thing. So it was like, it was fun. It was a game show. It's loosely a canon thing, but not because we're just, you know, it's a variety fun show. To have him be the guider of our child is well, crazy, and I'm just so happy that he gets to like, now he he can go to. 
conventions and on his board behind him is going to be him fighting off with dual lightsabers yeah. clone troopers, you know? I'm so happy for him. And for me. <laughs> no, I mean, I think, it, I think it works. I mean, Galaxy's Edge does the thing with Hondo, who was like a real character that they used to like promote b- selling and buying stuff in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, like, yeah. here's like. To get your money. Yeah. We made something else <laughs> separate outside of Star Wars, but yeah. now let's put that into Star Wars too. Like, it's just the reverse of that. Oh, so. man. But I think it's cool. I like. I'm glad we got to see what happened there. Yeah. The whole sequence of that was good. I like the. I hope the we chase get more. Scene. Like, that kind I, of I chase thought... scene was better, I think, than. Uh, like, trying to think of, like, episode two's chase scene. Like, I like this train sequence thing that he does. Yeah. He jumps up out of the subway and rocks up, you know, like that kind of mm-hmm. sequence there. The, the other one's just flying, you know? Yeah. yeah. So this one felt like we were, like, it was, like, more city-ish, mm-hmm. which I thought was cool. Sure. Yeah, that was, uh, <clears throat> and it was just, it's always cool to just have Tim Morrison do the clone trooper voice, too. Mm-hmm. And they look so good. They do. They look great. Man, you that's mean just, because uh, they're not CGI'd all yeah. the time? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. did, did they make any real clone troopers for the Not movies? one single piece of clone troopers. Only they made any, made right? The prequels, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Which is in the name. Yep. It's the Clone Wars. Yep. No, it's Attack of the Clones. I know, but it's the Clone Wars, right? <laughs> like, yeah, but one movie's like basically the end, and one's at the, right before it starts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And he he has friends on Naboo, which I guess makes sense. Uh, you know, despite Palpatine being from Naboo and at that point being Supreme Chancellor slash Emperor, right after Order C six. Yeah, I guess he's not Emperor. Yeah, he's still just Supreme Chancellor. But either either way, like Naboo, who was whose senator was trying to like lead the delegation of two thousand, like against what Palpatine was doing. It makes a lot of sense that they would probably help out a wayward Jedi. And those guard guys. Yeah. Like, go! I'm yeah. just fighting clones. You know, in episode one, one of the Naboo guards, like, in that outfit is uh, the main dwarf from the Hobbit trilogy. What's his Thorin? name? Thorin Oakenshield. was the same actor. Oh, uh, Richard shit. Armitage, I think is his name. Yeah, yeah that is Yeah, name. Yeah, he just, I was, when, when I was doing in trivia. In episode one. Yeah, I was doing trivia stuff. I'm like, oh, hell, okay. Oh, yeah, not, not in this. Not, not in this, but episode one of the uh, Guarding Pad uh, Phantom Menace. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. I knew that Ray Park was one when they attacked the, the uh-huh. palace later on. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah. The gunship looks great, too. And I love Calorin's, like, gold trill down his, like, lapel. It was really cool. He has a really good look. I like it. I'm just so happy for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Warwick Davis gets to play, like, five characters. He does. Sure. Yeah. But to be the guy that saves... Baby Yoda, <laughs> you know. <but. laughs> he saved Grogu, yes. Yeah, <sighs> he did. And then the dragon sequence stuff was really cool too. Like I liked a lot of that. Shriek Hawk, yeah. Yeah, I love that they brought those the babies back because that's what Mandalorians do. They ride war beasts. Of course they would. <laughs> no. And I think cool it's to... I think it's easy to say like, why are you here? Leave. You know, this isn't your place of safety. But like for them, like it's training. Yeah. They obviously have dealt with this thing before. Um, it's but also, it's like, before. they might be able to actually get more bees from this from this planet. It's a vital resource for them. Sure. I can't believe the turtle jumped up and ate that. <laughs> that was so great. Yeah, it was turtle. perfect timing. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I just love the shot with the spaceship chasing the dragon. Yeah. yeah. It's like Star Wars, right? Like, you have your knights, but yeah. they have laser swords. Yep. Uh, you have a dragon, but there's a spaceship. You have your bandits, yeah. and they have bow and arrows, but actually they're blasters. Yeah. Fantasy in space. Yep. It was, that kid was inside it. That it regurgitated that kid. <laughs> yeah, Luckily, that helmet has a small, like, breathing source, yeah. you know? I mean, they must just have, because they said, like, other families had been taken and they had lost them and stuff, right? Um, so they must know, I guess, like, well, we don't have to do it immediately. It's going to do something. It's going to... Sure. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Like I waited a day to mm-hmm. just have it inside of itself that whole time. Like a go- yeah, maybe. Because like it couldn't have put it in the nest, or else they would have eaten them. Yeah. Well, it, it took them with its in its claws, right? I don't know exactly when it put it in its mouth. Sure. Oh, terrifying. Sure. We know all we know is it went to the nest, and then yeah. it wasn't there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't know. And there was a, there was some speculation I saw from people about. Uh, Ragnar is his name, I guess now, but being Paz's son or related to him just because they had the same color scheme. Colors scheme. And Paz sure. has a couple of shots in the first uh, episode where he almost looks more like a 
proud that his son's or that this kid is taking the creed, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And then as far as Bo, like in this one here, like she led the adventure. Yeah. Like I liked Vizla being like you're leading the party, you stay by the fire. It was like a sense of honor kind of yeah. thing. And then sure. her saying this is the way, her getting the mythosaur, like and, she's, and she told some yeah. about the Minnesota. She asked someone, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. said, like, in the like, waters. But they, she didn't seem to believe, I don't think. She took oh, it yeah. as a signet. Well, that's yeah. like, you, you go to a priest, and it's like, I saw Jesus. So, yeah. Well, you know, we, I think like to think we all see yeah. Jesus, you know, <laughs> in the eyes of the people around us. No, 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 I saw Jesus. He spoke. <laughs> he was ordering Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. that kind of vibe. Yeah, it, it does, but... <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the armorer. <laughs> I love that the armorer is like the shaman of this group. Sure. Like, they, 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 she guides you. She helps you. That's why everybody comes to her and they all have like flashbacks of the most traumatic parts of their lives. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like that the the children of the watch. They don't look at her as lesser because she's new. They actually look at her as a Mandalorian full of experience, despite being newly. <clears throat> Refreshed or whatever, right? Creed. Like, yeah, like they don't like. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like in the creed, always the creed. Yeah, right. Kind of. Yeah. Like your life before doesn't matter. You go to the church and you're gonna have the church elders and the people that are sitting on the council, like everybody that's been there for a long time, and the you have to look up to them. And, yeah. But here it's just like, well, you're good. So you have a ship. You have a ship. You have experience. You have a pickup truck. We need to haul yeah. stuff. Yeah. She thought to don't actually go back that. to her ship rather than using mm-hmm. her jetpack. Yeah. Which, had she not, they'd have lost the kid. Which Paz Vizsla said it always gets away. It always flies outside the range of yeah. their their fuel tanks. Maybe they don't have ships. So like, well, I mean, they they probably have something so that they can move the covert. Maybe. Or but, they like they but charter, small, they, or they small charter their way here and they not. kill the pilots. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would they kill them? This Isolation. Is the way. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The verses was fun too, with Grogu versus the Ragnar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was wondering why Ragnar was only like shooting one at a time if Grogu was just well, he's, stationary target. He was trying to give him a. I think he was trying to give him a chance at first. He was like, "Well, I shouldn't fight him. He's like, he's too small." And you know, and then he was just kind of like, you know, "Punch him!" Like, yeah, I was oh, confused about the rules because it seemed like Karate Kid rules were like, you get a point and then it you stops, get, you get resets, a fall, and then you then restart. It goes again. Yeah. But then Grogu was just like, "Pow, pow, pow!" <laughs> I mean, he said you can shoot him in any order. Yeah, I don't know. But I was. That's that's why I was confused as to like why he was not doing all three in one go. Uh, I took it at Ragnar. I was just like looking down on him, in a way, not you know, like a mean way, but like in a like in a nice way. This kid should not be on this battlefield. Like, we well, gotta do it. It's like, all right, <laughs> you know, I'll do one. He wasn't yeah. trying too hard until, obviously, Grogu understood what yeah. he should do. Like a little kid steps up to the plate. You don't throw him a fastball. No, you yeah. give him a little like underhand. You know, yeah. He's still get, he's still gonna get three strikes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna go bow, bow, bow. Yeah, I get you. But yeah, he really should have like his strate- strategically he messed up. He should have picked like the biggest weapon he could, mm-hmm. something that Grogu couldn't have lifted. Yeah, but he still could. Like, Haha. he doesn't know that though. <laughs> Sorry, I would have loved it. He would have just stopped the ball, <laughs> just threw the paintball back at him, and then just shot him three times, hit him four times. Yeah. Four points. Four points. <laughs> In a three-point game. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I mean, they get kind of the only thing about the episode that like. I was like, okay, I like that we're showing that the jetpack packs do have limits because we've seen jetpack sequences where it goes on they're way in the long. air all the way down to Mandalore. That, yeah, uh, you know, the bounty hunter game. I couldn't just continue the jetpack. <laughs> you know, it ran out every once in a while. Um, but we've sure. seen like scenes in the Clone Wars where they have extended chase scenes with the jetpacks that go on for eight minutes. You know, Rebels have them, but. Too. Here, what they're saying is that it's just you didn't see the whole thing, but they went very far. Sure, yeah. you know. I mean, there was a cut at one point where, like, cut, he was yeah. flying, and then we cut to in front of him, and yeah. it well, felt yeah. like there was no water anymore, and we were somewhere mm-hmm. else. They went almost a day, right? Because yeah. it was like nighttime yeah, when they right. got to the cliffs. I, I assume. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it worked, but they flew a long way. All right. Well, let's check out some Q and A's. All right, uh, we're going to start with Melly, who says, My question for Mandalorian Q&A is, What do you think Bo is planning by joining the cult? Last episode, she seemed almost to be feeling good having Mando's at her side once more. But this episode, she seemed lonely and sad, eating alone. 
What do you think her goal is going to be here? I think that she's just kind of having almost like a, I won't say a spiritual awakening, but like a cultural awakening where she has judged this group of people for so long, but now that she's like amongst them, she's kind of seeing like, oh no, there is something to this. And I did see a mythosaur, and does that mean something? So I think she's just kind of like accepting it a little bit. Yeah. It's like with most cults. Like yeah. they don't recruit people that have a lot of friends and yeah. like great social <laughs> circles. Sure. I mean, that's the, that's the point of the foundling, right? A foundling is someone that's alone yeah. and needs a family. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on if we look at it as like a cult or like a religion or whatnot. Like if someone... It's a creed. It's not a cult or a religion. If someone it's, saw it's if someone sure. saw Jesus or something like that and they were atheist, agnostic or any of that kind of stuff, and mm-hmm. then like it might change them. And then they go back and then people accept them and they're like, well, I wasn't accepted where I was before, you know? Sure. Like, it's very possible that it's, yeah, it's a path that she's on, and mm-hmm. hopefully not like a underhanded. I'm gonna get the mythosaur, tame it, take over this whole group. Take the dark saber. <laughs> you know? Yeah, nothing like that. So yeah, but finding like a, a people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen people use the word cult before. I think it's fine. I mean, but I mean we, we she, understand what people mean when they use the word cult, but I would. Probably, she definitely described it as a cult she when she it. first. Oh no, yeah, exactly. So. I'll call it a cult. Yeah, but I don't know if like like I don't know if I would describe it as a cult. Like, I probably hers, would. hers is more looking down on it, right? Well, yeah, like this is more of it's like a, very easy to leave. Yeah. This. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bagman says maybe a huge stretch, but do you think the Star Wars universe could actually be building up to an Avenger style event? Like the remnants of the Empire with the Zilla Beast against Din with the Mythosaur alongside other characters from recent series like Omega, Ahsoka. Boba, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the scope of it would be, but I mean, that was generally announced by Kathleen Kennedy that one time when she was like, "This will all culminate into like a." That was back I, when they had like Rangers of the New Republic, but I think they were going to do something more of like uh, Netflix's Defenders, where they have like different series with different yeah. characters in them, and then they would have one series that would kind of cross over those characters into one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but where I mean, you might get like you know, there's an Ahsoka series coming out and. We had a soak in this. Mandalorian yeah. and there's Boba Fett and yeah. you might get people from all those shows all in yeah. one show doing something. Anything that's taking place in the like nine to ten years after the Battle of Yavin, I think is I mean, we've already had it, right? Fair Book, game. Book of Boba Fett and Pelimoto and characters going in and out of different shows. So But if it's gonna be like an event event, it's probably gonna have to do with Thrawn, I would say. Thanks. Uh, MCU Forever says, man, Nana Armorer <laughs> is just spoiling Grogu at this point. First the chainmail, and now the Rondel. Uh, question, with the appearance of Nubian guards in a ship, does that mean that Padme tried to help the Jedi when she saw the temple burn? And did she do so before or after Anakin met with her? Yeah, I, I'm not really sure if uh, how Padme would necessarily be involved like on this night. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I don't think that's Padme's ship. I mean, yeah, it's just it's Nubian, but it probably, probably isn't Padme's ship yeah, because Nubian. her ship, three PO, is gonna take to Musafar in yeah. like an hour. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So it couldn't be in subspace but taking. She's really, she somewhere. probably has lots of ships. Yeah. Uh, RC Star says so cool that Ahmad Best gets to play a Jedi character in real canon and he's the one that saves Grogu. It's great. You guys should totally watch Jedi Temple Challenge if you haven't already. But what happened to him for Grogu to end up where he we first saw him? Is he safe? Is he all right? All right. I, mean, I don't think he would have just let him go if he was safe. Yeah. I mean, we'll eventually see Grogu. Unless he's a Sith. Unless he's a Sith. He's not a Sith. He's a beloved Jedi. Uh, no, I mean, we know that Grogu ends up in, like, a bounty hunter den. So, I don't know what happened to him. I mean, it could be that... And it's, that's... There's so many years in yeah. between. This is episode three, and that's five years after Re- Ten, Return of the Jedi, you know? Yeah. So, like, there is a huge gap of what could have happened in between there. Could have died just, age. He could have just aged maybe. and died, yeah. or... He could have been on Alderaan. Well... But Grogu probably would have been with him, right? Well, maybe Grogu's not, but on the best could have been. <laughs> sure. He put him in the thing, and that's one of the asteroids. It's his little pod. <laughs> I mean, it just might be as simple as they, you know, you think about Ahsoka putting her lightsabers down at the end of the Clone Wars, and in Obi-Wan, they talk about, like, you know, Obi-Wan's, like, 
go to the desert, bury your lightsaber. You know, maybe they just kind of naturally like two of us shouldn't be together. You go here and I'll go there. I don't know. But it's just it's cool to see that he's in the exclusive class of some of the few Jedi that dual wield. Yeah. Uh, Ray says, this episode was fantastic in so many ways, but I'm so excited for the potential menagerie of beasts that keeps showing, uh, that the show keeps teasing with us with. We've seen the Mythosaur. Do you think that we'll see more Mandalorian native beasts like the Shriekok or Strills? Hmm, yeah, I, I guess I thought this was the Shriekok, but that's not true. The Shriekok would have been on Mandalore, I think. They called them the Shriekok team. Yeah, so they would have had an yeah, maybe. Yeah, but that could also be like the, like our our Navy SEALs aren't really SEALs. They don't hunt SEALs, you know, like. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were waging a war against SEALs. <laughs> yeah, like we're not fighting. Like maybe that's more of like a, <laughs> like, a so like a group name or something like that, or maybe that's what they used to do is they used to hunt yeah. Shrikov or something yeah. like that, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I mean, it's their sports team. Boba Jimmy, is riding yeah. a Rancor right now. We have these things. We have the the idea that a Mythosaur is on Mandalore again. Uh, Joe Mikowski says, "What do you guys hope to see when the Raptor hatchlings are grown?" For me, I hope they become battle mounts for them. Also, do you think the armor believed Bo at the end? I mean, they're only good on this planet, right? Why? Uh, how are you getting them off planet? From a ship. What ship? Big they kid. did. They, all they had was bows, <laughs> and dens can't hold any. <laughs> There's Mandalorians out there with freighters and stuff, right? Are there? I don't yeah. know. Well, yeah. They said like, it seems like all bows people like abandoned her. Yeah, but they're all there. That's not the and way. They, but they took like the light cruiser and stuff from the last season, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. So they have stuff. I mean, they need them then. Yeah, so they, they need them. But maybe but then. I think but, like, like, at this point, point, I feel like we have these guys for on our planet. Yeah. And that's all we really got. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know. it's gonna be like R R R. Yeah. Just Drive in with a menagerie. Yep. Yes. <laughs> they summon some pergils to take them to another planet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just have pergils swallow them. Oh. Like Geppetto. <laughs> Geppetto. All right, that was the last question. Thank you guys so much for submitting those. We are going to have a poll right now, and it's... All right, the poll is going to be about Kaloran Beck and his ultimate fate. Do you think that Kaloran... Uh, did he die shortly after the events that we saw here? Maybe within like a year? Did he die at some point during the dark times, which is a 20 year span before the Battle of Yavin? Or did he, maybe he, is he still alive? Uh, let us know what you mm-hmm. think and your theories and your thoughts down in the comments at patreon.com slash And we'll see you guys back here for more Mandalorian next week. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's Mandalorian. And also, don't forget about the stream. You should be able to find a link either in the description, pinned comment, uh, or just look at the channel. The channel has it under the live section. And uh, Eric and I are going to be live. It's Fallen Order. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you there.